we know that our number system has a nice pattern of repeating in tens. This makes it very easy for us to do calculations that involve multiples of 10. Let's just check we all remember what the multiples of 10 are. Let's count in 10 starting at 0. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, etc. are all multiples of 10. If we want to add on a single digit number to a multiple of 10, we end up with a very easy pattern to see. Let's have a look. If we start at 30 and add on 6, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we will get the answer of 36. Similarly, if we start at 40 and add on 6, we will end up at 46. Or if we start at 80 and add on 6, we will end up at 86. We get a similar pattern if we want us if we want to do subtraction. So for example, if we start off at 18 and subtract off 8, we will end up at 10. And if we start at 58 and subtract off 8, that means taking 8 steps back, we'll end up at 50. Or if we start at 98 and take 8 steps back, we'll end up at 90. And so we see a very nice pattern here of the idea that 80 minus 8 is 10, 58 minus 8 is 50, and 98 minus 8 is 90. This makes these kind of calculations really easy. We can also see exactly the same pattern if we look at the number line. So let's, for example, start at 0 and add on 4. This means we must take four steps, and we'll end up at 4. So 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. And we'll get the same pattern if we start at the next 10, at 10, and add on 4. 10 plus 4 is 14. And if we start at 20, and we add on 4, we get 24. This means that we can know immediately that if we do 30 plus 4, we'll get 34, or 40 plus 4, and we'll get 44, etc., etc. Similarly, if we did a subtraction sum like 27 minus 7, what we do on the number line is we start at 27, and we have to take 7 steps backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we see immediately that 27 minus 7 will get us to 20. Similarly, if we did 17 minus 7, we'll take 7 steps backwards from 17 and end at 10. And if we do 7 minus 7, well, that'll fairly obviously leave us back at 0. If we observe this pattern, it means that we can do a whole lot of calculations without having to do any work. 20 plus 3 will be 23. 40 plus 3, 43. Can you immediately see what 30 plus 8 will be? Or 70 plus 8? Similarly, 54 minus 4 will get us back to 50, and 84 minus 4 will get us back to 80. Can you see immediately what 26 minus 6 will be? And what 46 minus 4, 6 will be? Okay, now you're going to do a little bit of practice on these to make sure you've got them.